Hello student, welcome to my class of computer science for class 10th. Today student, we are going to start the sound tab of accessibility option. Okay student, so as you can see in figure number 4, the sound tab is enabled here, is having the particular options. So we are going to understand what are its option and uh, facility for us. To select the sound tab, we have to just go to accessibility option, then after that go to sound tab and you will see such type of figure like figure number 4. Okay. So actually sound sanitary, sound sanitary actually designed to help those user who are having audibility impairment. Okay, sound sanitary actually generates the visual warning such as the blinking, the title bar or flashing the border definitely. And uh, whenever the computer is generate the sound. Okay, to enable the sound sanitary, check the sound sanitary under the sound tab. You can see that this one option. Okay and uh, you just click on the drop down menu or list when you will click it then you can see this uh, this drop down menu will be enabled and then you have to just click on the apply and uh, after that click ok ok student so here you have to just click on drop down list and uh, wherever you are from you can just choose the type of the visual warning and desire and for understanding the sound sanitary trap you need to create an error so how you need to simply open a notepad and then after that uh, you need to just press enter or press backspace. Okay, that will definitely play a sound and as well as a sound, the title bar of the particular application will blink. Okay, so some kind of flash border, okay, as title bar will be blink uh, for a while or minus a second. So by that uh, you can understand uh, some thing wrong you have done or error you have done. Okay. Type some repeated character in notepad, notice that desktop will flash definitely, okay, as we have learned in an earlier video. And a fraction of second along with the visual error code will show you. Now show sound option, okay. So here show sound application which conveys the information sound almost provide the information visually through the text caption or the informatic icons. Sometime it may be possible student uh, whenever you are doing uh, some error work so it will show you dialog box. Dialog box means a child window of an application that give you the warning or the some kind of error message along with confirmation ok button click apply whatever ok. So how to enable it? To enable the sound show sound option check use and uh, show sound under this. So use high constant ok and then after that click apply and ok. Now display tab. So display tab actually regarding to the whatever the display in, your, in front of your screen. So you need to just click on display tab of the window option that is accessibility option and you will can see the figure number five. Okay. So high constant. So high contrast is an accessibility feature to access the people vision who are having definitely vision impairment. You can change the size of color okay size and color of the font background which is easy for viewing also to display it you need to just click enable the high contrast check the high contrast tab option here and under the display tab figure number five you can see you can click ok and apply okay now after that cursor option so this is also one of the display feature who are having the visual impairment. So what to do? You need to just change the speed of cursor or blinking. Okay, blink rate of the slide north, okay, fourth or notice that cursor blinking very fast or slow. Okay, you can change the what thing blinking speed also. Mouse key. So suppose that uh, you are wishing to click uh, the left click as a right click. So that time you can use the mouse key also. Go to setting. And you can just check primary key or secondary key it's up to you mouse setting you can change from there also so mouse setting is an accessibility feature that uh, assists the peoples who have difficulty using the mouse okay and this option use the keyboard definitely as the pointing device so if you are not able to handle the mouse properly you can use your keyboard as mouse also to do that you have to just click on use mouse key so if you see the number numerical key in your keyboard okay at right side the eight two six four and five these are having arrow symbol also so five means click arrow eight six two four are having the direction key so with the help of this you can use your mouse also 
to enable it you have to just go to mouse key tab and then after under mouse key uh, particular section and then after that click ok and apply so after that you will see this type of icon appear in front of you in a taskbar and by that you can use 4, 6, 2 to move a particular uh, or 8 to move a mouse key and uh, click on ok and apply so student today we have covered the display tab till display tab we have covered sound tab display tab i hope you are going to understand it well and you will note down the steps that is given in the particular theoretical part in your classwork copy till then student thank you and have a nice day